there, my name is Julie Fayfan Balzer, and today I'm going to show you how to take a machine that's already wirelessly activated and switch either the user account or the Wi Fi account. So, for the wireless activation switch process, I'm going to be using both my scanning cut and I'm going to be using a tablet. You could, of course, use your computer. The first step is to find the little wrench icon. So, I'm going to go ahead into my settings, and you can see there's one of seven pages. If I go backwards, I can see this is the ID that's currently being used. And the first thing that actually I did when I moved is look, this is the network. So, we're going to switch the network first. So, I'm just going to press the tool icon, and this will unlock a list of different things. And we're going to use something called the the setup wizard in order to get us onto the right wireless network. So I'm simply going to click on that tool right there and it's going to be searching for all of the available networks that are out there. Once it has found all the available networks, you can just scroll through until you see the network that's yours. This is mine, named Julie. I'm going to go ahead and say OK, and then I'm just going to simply enter my password. Now, just so you know, if you need a lowercase or a capital because that stuff does matter, this is going to be uppercase, and this is going to be a delete, and then if I want lowercase, I can go ahead and that's how I get the lowercase. If you want to get the numbers, they're located back here, and then any symbols, of course, are right there. So I'm going to go ahead now and enter my password. So then we're going to go ahead and apply our settings. Yes, we want to, and it's going to tell me that it's connecting, and then it says it's connected. So now I am on the network that I want to be, okay? So now, what if you want to switch your user account? Well, that was the screen right here, seven of seven, that's the idea. And you can see there's a thing right here that says change, or you can trash it. So let's say that you don't want anybody to know what your login ID is, then you would just trash it. But if you simply want to change who it is, then you'll simply press the change button. The process is the same either way. So you can see you get instructions right on the machine. It says log into Scan and Cut Canvas and get the PIN code. And then it even tells you how to get the PIN code right in these instructions right here. I am now, however, going to show you exactly how to do this on my tablet. Here I am in Scan and Cut Canvas online, and I'm going to go ahead and touch the little person icon, and that's how I access my account. So it has all my information in here. And now you'll see it says scan and cut online, um, but it says get pin code. Well, that's exactly what the machine told me to do. So I'm going to go ahead and press get pin code. And right there, it's going to say your machine will display the machine number. So all the instructions are here once again. And I'm going to show you now on the screen where the number is that we're going to enter in here in order to generate that pin code. So here on the screen, you can see the numbers right there, and that's exactly what I'm going to go ahead and enter right on my tablet. So I'm going to go ahead and click right in here, which will bring my keyboard up, and then I'm going to go ahead and enter the code that I see on the machine. And as soon as I've entered the code, I'm going to hit Next. And now I have my pin code generated. And again, the instructions are all here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to the machine and I'm going to go ahead and enter this pin code. I'm going to say OK, and then I'm going to enter the pin code. And I'm going to say OK. And now it's going to tell me that everything is good. So I'm going to say, OK, I can see my login ID. And then we're going to go back to the tablet just to make sure that everything is fine. And as you can see, if we scroll down, it's going to tell me that the Scan and Cut Online is ready. And I know that I'm ready to go. So now you can see how easy it is to switch around your account, your Wi-Fi, all that kind of stuff. Just remember, you have to have a machine that's already wirelessly activated. And while you didn't see my username change, because I only have one Scan and Cut Canvas account online, you could certainly change it to any account that you'd like to. Thanks so much for watching. And for more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at balzerdesigns.typepad.com. And do check out the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com.